What is up, everyone? Austin Smith here again. Today, I'm currently joined by our Georgia editor and one of our contributor writers here, Brianna Patton, who is, at, first off, a beast at what she does. BP, it's good to see you, and thanks for joining with me today. We want to go ahead and get right to it. Let's go ahead and talk about the MVPA Top 100 camp. Now, for those of you who don't know, this camp is illustrious for being one of the premier basketball invite-only camps in the country where some of the top players in grassroots basketball assemble for a few days to compete at the highest level. And typically, our um, editor-in-chief here at HoopScene.com, Justin Young, typically has been there for years, but he gave BP the opportunity to go. And let me tell you this, I think it's often that BP went down there because she's one of the best. She's up and coming. And I think she got a lot of fantastic info for us today. So, Brianna, let's go ahead and get right to it. Tell us a little bit about the MVPA Top 100 camp and what was the kind of the overall experience and camp environment for you? Yeah, first, thank you for all the kind words, Austin. But yeah, being able to go to that camp, I was super excited because I've heard all the um, things about, you know, being one of the most prestigious camps in the country, the high level competition going on every day. So I was super excited about that. I got down there Wednesday and just Wednesday through Friday, it was just, it was super fun, high level, really, really, really high level players high level competition going on. There was some Wednesday, they started off with some um, skill work based on positions. So that was fun to watch. Uh, Thursday, they played some three on three before they got into gameplay. And that was super fun to watch. It was telling because it's, you know, it's a little different from five on five, right. but we'll um, probably get into a little more of that later. But I just really enjoyed watching the top players in the country go at it, um, go head to head against each other all week. Um, there's a ton of college coaches there. Um, there are some NBA personnel. The um, camp instructors and the coaches, they were great. Just seeing how they were able to interact with the kids and seeing that the players were like taking in what they said and improving using what they were telling them. It was just overall great atmosphere, fun to watch. Awesome. Awesome, man. I love to hear it. I've definitely been following that camp for years, Brianna, man. And you get an experience to go, man. That's dope. Like, I feel like everybody, I wish everybody get a chance to go just so you can see what it's like. Let me ask you this, Brianna, because you were at a camp where obviously they're best of the best. And JY and I have talked about this phrase called apples to apples, where you get to see the platforms where top players compete against top players. For you personally, what was kind of that experience like in regards to seeing top players against top players? What makes those guys different in your mind? Yeah, it was, like I said, definitely being able to see the best of the best. Um, it was like peach jam on steroids, it felt like. Um, I feel like the separator and what makes a big difference is just their ability to do the most with, you know, little. You're not, you don't mm. need to take six dribbles, put on three combos to get to the basket. <laughs> and make the These guys are doing what they need to do off two or three dribbles. Yep. Um, they're so fast, they're vocal, and they can defend. Um, you can really tell some of these guys can really get down and defend as well as score the ball, obviously. But the way they defend, the way they do the dirty work, they're setting screens, they're playing with a high motor all game. Those are the things that separate who's great and, you know, who's average. Right. Yeah, I definitely agree, man. Great insight for all the players watching. Um, take note of that because, again, BP just gave you all a ton of great insight on mm -hmm. what separates them the best, how you can up and level up your game. So let's get right to, like, dive into the details, Bree. Let's talk about some of the biggest takeaways from some of the players that you've seen. Who caught your eye early? Who were some of the top players that you saw while your time during your time at the camp? First, I'll um, show some love to Jaden Bradley, who was the MVP, named the MVP of the event out of North Carolina. He attends IMG 2022 6'3 point guard. He was great all weekend. Um, he led his Hawks team. Mind you, the Hawks team was stacked, by the way. He led them to a championship. I think their margin of victory for um, for the week was 18.8 .8 points per game. They won every game by 18. Um, but Jaden, he was the leading scorer with about 15 and a half points, I think. He was the leader in assists at, five, uh, I think, about five, five and a half, and he was the leader in minutes played. Wow. So he, he was a leader all around. Um, He's just one of those guys that's vocal. He'll go get you a bucket whenever needed. Another one of those guys that um, maximizes his dribbles, doesn't need to do all that fancy stuff. He's just going to get you a basket. Super athletic. He was really, really fun to watch. Um. He was, like I said, definitely one of my top guys for sure. Um, but also on that Hawks team, like I'm telling you, was stacked. Um, we had Keontae George. Okay. I, I heard, of, um, heard a lot about him um, through the live period. I never got to see him until today, but they're saying he's one of the top scorers in the country, and I see why he – that guy can – he can go. He can definitely go. Um, let me see. They had an um, all-star. I'm going to tell you who made the all-star team. Sure. 
was 11 players. So you had Dylan Andrews, Adeem Bona, Colin Chandler, Donovan Klingen, Noah Clowney, Caleb Foster, Keontae George, Jet Howard, Johan Treyor, and Casey Wallace. Mm. Now those that whole that whole list of guys, all those guys are deservingly so on there. The only 2023 kid to make that team was Caleb Foster. Um, out of North Carolina, he attends Oak Hill. He's the only 2023 on that team. Um, he's also the only 2023 player to finish in the top 10 in scoring. Wow. And he finished, um, I think he was number one in free throws made and attempted. He um, finished the week 17 for 18 from the free throw line. So we know how uh, we know how important that is. He also really, really excelled in the three by three play, which is fun to watch because some some kids struggled. Some of the kids struggled kind of adapting to it because it was a 12 second shot clock. It oh, was wow. Yeah. So you didn't have time to, you know, do all this moving quickly, 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 fast paced, really no breaks. He excelled in that. He excelled in the five on five. He was really fun to watch. And Duke actually offered him very shortly after the camp concluded. So he was able to pick up that offer. So he was another one of the top guys. Um, Cason Wallace out of Texas. Um, he definitely showed that he is, he should be considered as the top two way player in the country. Um, he had a really good first day. Um, I forgot how many points he scored that game. I'd have to check Twitter, but mm-hmm. he's another one of those guys. He played played in the championship, five on five championship, and he also played in the three on three championship. So he's just a winner. He does all the right things defensively. He can defend the hell out of the ball. He led the camp in um, steals with three per game. Oh, okay, okay. Definitely one of the um, top guys for sure. Um, Donovan Klingen, centers. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and start on a different segment, showing the center some love. Um, I actually wrote about them in my main takeaways that I posted earlier. He's a true seven footer, um, UConn commit, super mobile. Um, it's fun seeing how well he can move with his size, soft hands around the basket, nice touch, nice variety. Um, quick moves he'll make on the low block. He was really good. Um, Adeem Bona, I apologize if I'm pronouncing names wrong, but he was probably the most athletic. Um, center of the camp like he watching him was who he was throwing down dunk after dunk catching crazy alley-oops flying in for blocks he was an impact player he was also on that hawks championship team um there's a couple more there's a couple more centers that can't uh, point out right on the top of my head but the center position was absolutely loaded and that's why i said in the world of basketball now where it's you know a lot of most guards get all the love it's super fast paced whole bunch of three-point shooting it was really good and refreshing to see really high level big man. It was definitely refreshing to see that. I definitely enjoyed that. That was probably one of my favorite part watching the big men work because they were getting after it. Um, yeah, they were, it was super fun to watch. There was two seven, seven footers and a lot of six, 10 guys that were, that are going to make a big impact um, for whatever school they choose next year. Yeah. Okay. So man, it's good to hear about those players that left their mark. Let's move on now. Let's talk about some of the sleepers or some of the players who even improved their stock. Who caught your attention during your course of those days at the MBPA top 100 camp? Um, Stefan Castle out of um, Newton high school, for sure. He he's, I, it seems like he just gets bigger each time I see him bigger and stronger. Um, I think he was up to six, 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 seven now. Just a just a strong guard. Um, he was a three by three on three champion. Um, his team won the three on three championship. He played well in five on five. He's just with his size, he just plays with a lot of um, poise. The tempo of his game, you can't. It's pretty much impossible to speed him up. You're not going to change how he wants to play defensively. He's made a lot of improvements over the summer. He's a. I think he has the potential to be a lockdown defender as well with his size and length. Um, he's been one of the biggest stock rises, I'd say, probably all summer. But at the camp, he definitely showed that he belonged in that conversation with the best of the best. Wow. National. Wow, Stefan yeah. Castle. Yeah, really, really good weekend. We, good, good deal. Yeah. Gotta show some love to the hometown kid. Glad he performed well. Also, Brianna, we also talked about there being a 2024 kid who made a pretty good impression, man. Talk about him and what he did best during his time there. Yeah, Derek Queen. Um I think he's uh, out of Baltimore and he also attends um, Montverde Academy again their stack um, but he yeah he was one of the two 2024 players there yeah. uh, it was him and Dylan Harper a point guard um, but Derek Queen he has he's he has a lot of size he's big he has a strong frame he dominated um, for a large part of the three-on-three sessions just because of his size he was just able to get to the basket and just overpower smaller guards that were guarding him so he has definitely has a lot of upside, and he's one I'll be watching moving forward for sure. Good deal. Good deal. Well, BP, thank you so much for your time today. 
Appreciate that insight on all those top players and performers from the NBA Top 100 camp. We've got some more eyes to add, got players to add to our hoop scene list now to keep an um, eye out on, but all good stuff as well, man. I'm so glad you had the opportunity to get down in and take part of the action. Well, everyone, hey, thanks for tuning in to this update featuring myself and our very own Georgia editor, Brianna Patton. She just gave us a detailed insight into this year's NBPA Top 100 camp. Best believe you can check out more of this footage and also you can check out her edits and her uh, write-ups and everything she's got on hoopscene.com slash news. So make sure you head over there to get more detailed. And hey, share this video with a friend who would like to le learn more about that NBPA Top 100 camp. Brianna, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Austin. Awesome.